Welcome back. Addison is taking a little break and asked me to take over for her. Now after much thought and a lot of frustration with implementing a K-Food placement, I found a free plugin on the Epic Marketplace that literally takes minutes to set up and just works. The plugin is Power AK. You set up a trace channel, tick a few boxes, drag the node into your NMVP, and adjust a few parameters, you're up and running. This video will get you started so you can go in and make any adjustments and tweak it to your expectations. So without any more ado, let's get on with it. Go to the Epic Marketplace and search for Power IK. It should be free, so get it and install it to your engine version. Now, open or create a new project. Go to your plugins and type Power IK to get to the plugin quickly. Enable it and restart. Go to the project settings and under collision add a new trace channel called PhotoIK. Keep the default response at block and drop down the preset settings. Tick the overlap box for overlap all. And overlap all dynamic. Tick the Ignore box for Overlap Pawn. Pawn. Spectator. Character Mesh. Invisible Wall. Trigger and you are Once you are through ticking the boxes, close out of project settings and open your NMVP. Go to the ending graph and drag the state machine out a bit. Right click and type Power IK and select Power IK Ground. Connect it between the state machine and output poles. Select the Power AK Ground node to gain access to the settings and add to array elements by feet. Find your bond names for your character's feet and type them in the bond names boxes for both left and right feet. Underground settings, expand ground collision and change the collision channel to foot IK. Set raycast up to 30 and raycast down to 60. Tick wall collision to true.
Expand ground slope and click lean to through. Tick rotate foot to ground to through. And offset feet positions to through. Under constraints add two array elements to bend constraints and enter the bone names for each calf. Calf L and calf R. Change the Y constraint in the calf R to negative 1. Compile and save to test it out. Your feet should now look natural on the ground and stairs. I'll add this here to test out how it works also. And it looks good. Now you can go in and adjust the settings to fit your needs and put your own little spin to it and your game. And that's it. You're good. I hope this helps. Like, subscribe and click that little bell icon if you'd like more. And as always, have fun.